Revelations 11, the two witnesses. I was given a reed like a measuring rod and was told, go and measure the temple of God at the altar. It is with its worshippers, but exclude the outer court. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for 12 months and I will appoint my two witnesses and they will prophesy for 1260 days, clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees, the two lampstands, and they stand before the Lord on earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have the power to shut up the heavens and so it will not r shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying. And they have the power to turn the waters into blood and to strike ev the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now when they have finished their testimony, the beasts that come up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square for the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt. There also, there also was the Lord, where also the Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, language and nation will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts because these two prophets had tormented those, who's, those who live on earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and, their, and terror struck those who saw them. Then they, had a loud, then they heard a loud voice come up from heaven, saying, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, while their enemies looked on. At that very hour there was a severe earthquake, and a tenth of the city collapsed. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to God of heaven. The second woe has passed, the third woe is coming true, coming soon. The seventh trumpet. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Messiah, and he will reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders were seated on the thrones on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have always taken, for you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry and your wrath has come. And the time for the coming judge, for the cup, the time has come for the judge for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants the prophets and your people who revere your name both great and small and for the destroying of those who destroy the earth then god's temple in heaven was opened and within his temple was seen the ark of his covenant his covenant isn't it and there came flashes of light, rumblings of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and, sev and a severe hailstorm. 